<laughs> Say, man, get this. No, man, I can't fade that. Say, man, I've been dealing with you for three months. What's this all about? You ain't hit the pipe yet. Yeah? That's what you saying? It might be 5 0. Man, I ain't no police. Then what's the problem? Hey, what's up everybody? This is your boy Luther Cooper, also known as Rel C. You're watching the review of BET Tales. This is season two, episode four, tonight, Deep tonight, Cover tonight, by head. Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. Coming up next. All right, y'all. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, share, like, comment on this video. Um, a few announcements. If you check the uh, description, I got a couple of links out there um, for you to visit. I have uh, other YouTubers who do review on this show. You can check them out in the description. Um, they tell the review of BET Tales as well. I also have links to previous uh, episodes, even all of last season um the first uh premiere which was brothers um i have a link to that actual episode of, as well if you missed that and um there's also a very interesting interview by irv Gotti that he did with vlad tv vlad tv they do a lot of great interviews with different celebrities but um this particular interview irv Gotti he talks about tales the actual video is about an hour long but I know at least the first 10 15 minutes he talks about BC Tales how he came up with the idea and how he got uh, how he pitched it to BT and also um, he just it, it's just interesting how he talks about BT Tales and also some of the, the process of getting us uh, these uh, episodes created so check that out if you haven't already yo let's get into this uh this episode but before we do that also um again this is uh episode four which was inspired by dr dre's um deep cover which also features snoop dogg for the very first time so it's a very pivotal song um it's also the actual first song that dr dre released on death row records right after he left nwa and ruthless records so a very pivotal um, like I said, very pivotal uh, hip hop song. For those who've seen Straight Outta Compton, there's a scene actually with this song, with the actual song playing in the background, where um, Snoop meets Dr. Dre for the first time, and he also meets uh, Suge Knight for the very first time. Not a not a pretty scene at all. <laughs> but anyway, that's just a, a little history of the song. Now, um, also Deep Cover was actually uh, a soundtrack too for a movie, I think the, yeah, the name of the movie is called Deep Cover also, um, starring Lawrence Fishburne. i never seen the movie before, um, so uh, I think after watching this episode, I think I'm probably gonna check it out. But anyway, let's get into this episode. Um, it was a lot of twists, especially at the end. All right, so you have one uncle, one nephew. The uncle is uh, Dougie played by Hassan Johnson. He was, for me personally, I remember him in, being in Belly, the movie Belly back, uh, I think that came out like in the late 90s uh, with DMX and Nas. He played a, a little small part in that movie. That's how I remember him. I remember that face. Um, his name is Dougie. He has a nephew named K-Ron. K-Ron, he's um, played by uh, Tristan Wiles. Um, I also found out that he was an, he's an R&B singer too. I never knew that, but anyway, um, so you had K-Ron, who was the nephew, and then Dougie, who's the uncle. Like I said, they're in the uh, deep in the in the uh, in the drug game. Um, K-Ron character, he's you know what I'm saying he's young, um, he's ambitious, he wants to get out of the drug game. Um, he's tired of although him. I, I'm not gonna even go front. Um, Kiran and his girlfriend and, and their son, they live in a nice, beautiful home. To me, I think it was a nice, beautiful home. And I was to the point where, like, why is this dude complaining, man? It looked like he got a, you know, living a pretty good life. But 
you know, he's tired of, of, for one, being a drug dealer all his life, that's all he knows, and being under his uncle, and kind of like, his uncle kind of like, is like the, the, the reason he is where he is, and I guess he wants to get up under, out of that shadow, under his uncle, so, he's, K-Ron, he's, he's, I guess, sometimes too smart for his own good, but he's also kind of immature in the way he goes about doing things. He does a lot of uh, trying to like run these little side deals behind his uncle back, but it always comes back and, and, and catches catches up with him. Um, he tried it once, you know, behind his uncle. His uncle uh, made a whole scene with him at, at his own 30th birthday party. He had a big birthday party and whatnot. Um, so his uncle like, gets upset about that like i said he caused a scene with him and then he tries to do another deal uh, behind his uncle back with this other dude and that caught up with him too because that same dude that he was talking to about you know the side deal or whatnot because they like i said they're heavy in the coke game and next thing you know um k ron he gets pulled over by the feds you know they got him in a warehouse somewhere abandoned warehouse and you know they they trying to get information from him he's not talking he's acting dumb and then they brought out the guy who sold him out which was the guy who we just spoke with about this idea so now you know they looking at him to to help them and get info get info from him um they shot the dude so now it's like Kiron's at a point where he got no other choice but to to, to snitch on his uncle, which it's kind of like two way because he's tired of his uncle being controlling and whatnot, and they're not really getting along. I mean, they're getting along for family's sake, for blood's sake, but it's like they were they they, they were button heads. So he got vulnerable and decided to take a deal with him. Now I thought that. K. Ron was going to go against the feds and you know team up with his uncle, um, but it actually didn't happen like that. Um, and, and this episode, it, it was like it was so quick, man. It was a good episode. It was so quick, and there were like so many twists at the end. So at the end, well, before we get to the end, um, there was there was that one scene where there was one scene where. Um, K. Ron had just spoke with the feds, you know, they were trying to make sure that they, they catch Dougie, you know, saying some things because he was, um, K. Ron was wired. So he comes to them, he comes to meet up with uh, Dougie, his uncle and the rest of the gang, you know, late. And so throughout the whole episode, there were signs, you know, the, the, this episode gave you like hints and clues that Dougie kind of already knew that um, his nephew was snitching on him or talking to the feds and whatnot. So this one particular scene when Dougie shows up, I mean not Dougie, when K-Ron shows up, um, one of the other guys in the gang, you know, they, he runs up on him, you know, rips off his, rip the buttons off his shirt. And then, um, cause they, you know, they assume that at this point they, they assume that K-Ron, you know, was snitching or, you know, talking to the feds, which he was, but, um, they were trying to find out, you know, was he wired or whatnot. Luckily he wasn't wired for some reason. Um, and he actually, uh, he swung on the dude. <laughs> so, um, you know, I guess it's kind of like made Dougie felt like, you know, maybe he's not, he's not, but then before the commercial break, we see that Dougie was like, you know, saying this dude is snitch. He was talking about his nephew, uh, K. Ron. K. Ron was in the bathroom. He had the wire or whatnot, and then um, come to find out, around the end, right before the end of this episode, um, Dougie finds out that his nephew was. I mean, he already knew. Like I said, they were giving they were giving clues and hints. You know, so um, Dougie actually finds out that his nephew was the feds, working with the feds, and so he stabs him. 
and whatnot. So in my mind, I was like, wow, K Ron is dead? I was like, wow. You know, and so the feds actually work with Dougie. So they already, you know what I'm saying? That's why Dougie probably kind of knew, you know, what was going on. So so these guys weren't actually, I mean, they, they were feds, but they were crooked cops. Or they could have been, you know, posing as uh, feds. But anyway, they um, they in the drug game too, you know, along with Dougie. And so, you know, Dougie thinking it's all cool. At least we thinking that Dougie thinking it's all cool. But come to find out, um, K. Ron wasn't actually he he was not dead. So he shot one of the guys. Bam, he dies. And then the other cop or the other fed shot uh Dougie and next thing we know comes out the dude who uh who ran up on K-Ron earlier he was working with them so it, it was like it was so many twists so I was like wow I, you know what I'm saying it was to the point where you got kind of got almost confused a little bit but um come to find out uh K-Ron's girl she was behind it too so she came out of nowhere shot the uh the cop and the other dude bam K Ron is he's not even dead. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's not even dead this whole time. You know, I thought he got killed twice. <laughs> but he came back to life, come to find out he had a bulletproof vest on and everything. So um he wasn't dead. So K Ron, I guess, you know, they got the drugs, they got the money and everything. Him and his girl, you know, they can go get married and and live a, uh, a better life so that was pretty much it the whole uh episode or whatnot um it was it was great but i still say it didn't top last week uh, mary j blige my life um so i think so far um i think uh my life is still winning and and, and, and that's just my opinion um I, I think that my life still was uh, a great episode this season so far this one came in second though i think deep cover came in second yeah but that was just me well um it was a short uh review y'all so if y'all haven't seen it go see it go see this show man um like i said this it was a great idea by herb Gotti. commend to him and um i'm just ready to see more not just um hip-hop or r&b but i want to see some other genres you know, like country, gospel, <laughs> rock and roll, like for real. Like, man, yo, <laughs> this this series, man, this show, this thing is just, I don't know, man. <laughs> but um, again, don't forget to comment, like, share, um, subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to go to the BET Tales discussion group. I got it in the link. I got it as a link in the uh, description. It's a Facebook group where many people who watch the show they post things and they talk about every they talk about things that's related to the show. So go ahead if you're not um, in the group, go ahead and join the group, man. For real, y'all stay up, man. Deep cover on the incognito tip. Peace. When me and my homie bailed in the parking lot The scene looked strange and it felt like a setup You better not be, cause if it is, they get lit up Oh, here they come from the back and they lax I'm checking for they gas, they strapped